everyone. In this episode of Angular Pro Screencast, I'll tell you the difference between methods detect changes and mark for check. So I created such a prototype. What's in this prototype? First of all, we switch off ng zone because we don't want change detection, detection be accidentally triggered by ng zone. We want to control the flow and run it manually. To run change detection manually, I created a separate button. So by click, we can run application reference tick, so that will trigger change detection. And also for each component, I have added method in template, CD check. We know that when change detection is executed on component, component view is re-rendered according to the new value. So all the methods inside template will be executed. That's kind of way I can guarantee that change detection was executed on component. I've tried to get the same result with ng do check and ng after view checked, but they are not covering all the cases. And only with your custom method you can achieve it. So if we take default strategy, default change detection strategy, and we run change detection, so everything run all components but if we change on second component change detection strategy from default on to on push and we also execute change detection you see the branch that goes under second component change detection wasn't applied but we can run it manually, we can run it manually with help of method detect changes. So I have injected change detector here and with help of change detector we can run method detect changes. And now if we call detect changes it will be executed. So again we trigger change detection. It doesn't touch component and the whole branch that is switched to on push but if you call detect changes it will run change detect detection mechanism on component itself and also on all child components but what if we do the same for mark for check method and if we call mark for check Nothing is happening actually. That's good that we switch off ng zone because when you have ng zone, which is called change detection mechanism pretty often, so the method looks look pretty much the same. But in fact, mark for check doesn't trigger change detection. It just mark all the components from your component up to root component that's on next. On next tick, change detection should be executed there. So when we click, when we trigger change detection again, everything is executed. And when we trigger again, again our branch is out because mark for check works only for one tick. So that's the difference. If you want to be sure that change detection is executed on your component, you need to run detect changes. If you're pretty sure that it will be covered by next round of change detection, you can just do mark for check. And then with next round, it will be covered.